video. Quickly, before this video gets started, I just wanted to thank AOEAH for sponsoring this video. Uh, with AOEAH, you can buy and sell items, and you can now save 6% using code COMIC in the item shop. Go check them out in the link in the description below. Yo, how's it going, everybody? I just wanted to make a quick tutorial for the few people that ask about my keyboard mouse overlay. Uh, this keyboard and mouse overlay is awesome. It looks very modern and it's also very customizable, which I really enjoy. Uh, so, of course, this doesn't just apply to Rocket League. If you're playing any other games and want a keyboard and mouse overlay, I highly recommend using Noah Board. And this specific one I will have in a Dropbox. So, if you go to the description below, I'll have a link to the Noah board folder. You're going to download this and you will run it through the Noah board exe. Uh, I have included some screenshots of the settings to remove the black background, but I'm going to walk through that in this tutorial. So first off, let's open up Streamlabs and so we have our overlay here but we want to add it in as a window capture so we'll go ahead and add window capture i'm going to add a new one instead of an existing and then we're going to go and find our noah board v 1.2.1 and select it so you can see now we got our keyboard and mouse overlay it looks pretty cool but it's not transparent we can't see through that so we need to fix that so first thing is let's go into our filters we right click and then filters so we're going to add a new filter and this is going to be a color key so really simple we're going to click this drop down custom color click this little box and then go all the way down to black and if you notice on our right our overlay is now transparent awesome but what i didn't like about this is i didn't really like the yellow buttons when you click i just wasn't a huge fan of this I, I don't know, it didn't fit. So if you have like a color scheme with your channel, I'm gonna show you how we can customize this to fit the color scheme of your channel. So let's go down and we're gonna add a new filter and this one is called color correction. So the only tab or the only slider we're gonna miss, mess with right now is hue shift. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and drag it and as you can see the color is changing as we are going throughout this slider so we can go from green purple blue whichever color you kind of want so if you want the exact one i use i use a negative 132 and as you can see it's kind of a cyan and that fits my uh that fits my channel colors and i am a big fan of that so i'm gonna leave it at that and yeah, that is that. And if you are interested in Evample, so if you're a keyboard and mouse Rocket League player, you may know Evample. If you're interested in the overlay he uses, he actually uses a different overlay. And so if you want to use that overlay, I'll show you as well how to do that. So we'll go ahead and click, right click and load uh, keyboard. We're going to go to this Jow 7YT. And you can either use the normal black. So normal black has a little bit of like 3D to it, um, like the texture of the keys. I'm going to go ahead with just the clean white. So we'll close that, open back up Streamlabs. And so now you can see it's really messed up. So we have to mess with our filters again. So I'm just going to remove both filters and we'll work from here. So if you want to go with something like this, we're going to add once again our color key. And you can see it defaults to green right away, but we have some green lines that are still showing around. So we need to go through and change our similarity until we can't see any of those green lines anymore. 
and right about there, I think. I'm not seeing any more green. Yeah, right about there. So this is the overlay Evample uses. You kind of have to mess with it. You can see that part of the um, part of the mouse is getting cut off, but uh, you have to mess with the similarity and smoothness a bit to get it perfected. The only downside to using this is that uh, you don't have the same feature where you can add a color correction and change because I'll show you if we do a hue shift. Yeah, it's changing the lines in between the keyboard. I mean, if you want to do that, you can do that. If you want to leave the green lines and then try and uh, use the middle of those. It will also change the scroll wheel color. But other than that, unfortunately, you're not going to really be able to change it. Uh, since it's white, you can't hue shift it. That's the difference between the other keyboard I showed. The outline of the keyboard is white. So when we do a hue shift, sorry about that. I changed, uh, I changed scenes. But um, as I was saying with whites you can't really hue shift it so that's the problem and that's why i prefer the other style where we have the um, input overlay input overlay style so yeah i just wanted to quickly show this tutorial hopefully this helps you hopefully you found a new keyboard and mouse overlay that you like and uh yeah if you like this video feel free to leave it a like if you like my content feel free to subscribe and as always i'll catch you guys in the next video uh -huh.